Hello. Hello. Welcome to the miniature world of Kit and Caboodlers. We are a mother-daughter team who spend our time searching various places around Britain, such as beaches and woodlands for old forgotten treasures. We then bring these treasures home to create miniatures and dolls for our handmade 1940s sugar box dolls house. Come along and see what we made this time. And as always, we hope you enjoy. It's the start of a new year and this is our first film of 2023 on our crafting channel. Um, we've had a little holiday because we did put out 24 films in a row. <laughs> so Kate bought me some, and I might have bought myself some Christmas presents for my doll's house. <laughs> so we thought we'd show you those and then I can put them in my doll's house and then we can show you what they look like in situ. Mm -hmm. So I just want to start with what I bought myself. Yeah, maybe start with what you bought yourself. <laughs> I bought myself this sofa and two chairs and tiny table. <laughs> because I've been looking for a sofa for a very long time. And they were made in Germany because a little table says so. And I've been looking for a little table for a while as well, mm -hmm. so it all came together. I think they're going to look really nice. They're beautiful. And they're a good size. You've been struggling with yeah. sofas and chairs. Lovely colour. Mm. It goes really well with the inside of my house because it's all turquoisey and blue, so... Mm -hmm. Inside of Doll's house. Oh yeah, not my <laughs> real house. No, my real house is green. <laughs> but the, the two little cushions I had were really cute. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Such nice cushions. So yeah, there was the sofa. So then I bought mum a few things. Yeah, and things that mean you have to completely rearrange your doll's house because yes. I'm annoying like that. So the first thing is this is it filigree? Yeah. Um, antique fireplace. How old do you think this is? <laughs> Turn of the century, maybe, maybe a bit earlier. It's slightly wonky, but that is probably why I got it at a cheaper price than these normally go for. Yeah, they go I've, for quite a lot of money, yeah, those I've do, been yes. Bargain hunting through the year to find these bits, and yeah, it's a bit. I don't mind wonky. No. It's still, you know, and it's got an actual deep fireplace yeah, that they you can put, things, put on it. things on. And yeah, it's beautiful and detailed, and probably need to some sort of fire, fire inside. Yeah. Incredibly detailed, and then once I'd bought this one, um, I'd remembered that Mum had a thing about matching things. Matching things. I just thought only does. She, you quite like it. So then I went on a hunt, and I found this one for again a much more reasonable price. Well, a much more affordable for me price. And this one is blue. I really like the paint on the, yeah. the hearth to make mm -hmm. it look sort of marbled. Yeah. But now we need another one. I know. Well, you... I'm going to. But I was collecting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you were collecting Taylor and Barrett ones, yeah. and now I've come along and thrown. But they're so beautiful. Maybe I could just have one Taylor Barrett one. Mhm. Mm I do like Taylor. Well, in Mother's Day's in March. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, I do like Taylor Barrett. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll put that one in the bedroom, mm -hmm. the children's bedroom. But like, look at the, the metal work. It is beautiful. It's so really beautiful. pretty. I'm intrigued to know what they're going to look like when they go in. Mm -hmm. And I know that your dream has always been a doll's house full of furniture like this. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I love metal furniture. So yeah, they're the two fireplaces. Maybe the big things that now means mum needs to rearrange her towels. Everything. <laughs> and then I got mum a Taylor and Barrett oven. oven, which you wanted. You don't have a Taylor and Barrett one, no. You want everything Taylor and Barrett. <laughs> but unfortunately, um, couldn't I couldn't find one with a shelf that I could afford. So we're going to keep an eye out <laughs> for the shelf. And to go with this, I got. Um, a set of the Taylor and Barrett saucepans 
Unfortunately, they only came with one lid because again, a set like this with the lids are first of all hard to come by. Ooh, that's not the right one. And then second of all, if they are, they can go for quite a lot of money. But I've got one, I think. Mm-hmm. So Oven and oh, saucepans. And then keeping with the Taylor and Barrett theme, hmm. if you have watched our films about doll's houses before. Oh, this one. Oh, oh yeah, this, this one. one. Um, got to <laughs> Taylor and Barrett. Um, Hoover. Needs fixing. Which needs fixing, which again, which is why it was cheaper. <laughs> and the nice yellow and black one. And then if you've seen our films before, we've spoken, when mum's done tours of her doll's house, She's spoken for years about, she has a little Taylor and Barrett cat in a basket and traditionally that cat comes with kittens but the kittens are Minuscule. tiny and you, ne no, nev you never had them did you? No. No. So I went on a mission and I managed to find four kittens <laughs> and you can see why they'd get lost because they are <laughs> absolutely tiny they are minuscule and again managed to get these yeah, cause some of the stuff can go for quite a lot of money but ebay is how we do it yeah but yeah tiny little, tiny little the kittens, kittens to go with it and then the other i only glasses to look at <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know what they were when no. you them, did you? <laughs> and then to continue with this kitten saga something mum has spoken about a lot, and I think you've mentioned it a couple of times on the channel. Possibly. Is keeping with the Taylor and Barrett theme, Mum has a Taylor and Barrett oven, oh, fridge, fridge, and the fridge was originally sold with a, a red jelly, a green jelly, a chicken, a, um, I think that's that, and, and then this thing and then, that's missing. And then, a two, of these and then two bottles of milk, and Mum has the fridge the red jelly the chicken. and the chicken but for some reason in the doll's house world quite I, they're quite people like to have the sets of things and for some reason the green jelly and the bottles of milk are, right, are almost right. entirely always missing yeah and then if weird. there's ever a green jelly or <laughs> bottle of milk on ebay it goes quite a lot of money because yes. people People it's buy the fridges, even though they've already got the fridges, just to, to get, get the green, the green jelly, jelly and the milk. bottle of milk. Because for some reason, that's the thing people lost. Yeah. But I don't know why. It's no. Odd. Loads of red jellies, no green yeah, jellies. No, yeah. But I did manage to find Mum a green jelly, little lead green jelly to go with the red one, and only one bottle of milk, a little lead. Taylor and Barrett bottle of milk. So now Mum need to find one more bottle, bottle of milk. milk. <laughs> Look how tiny they are. Have the set. I know. It's also you understand why these, these things got lost. Got lost. Yeah. But it's the sort of thing we could find one day. I don't understand. I know. Obviously the paint would be gone, but you could find yes, a jelly. I don't understand. Well, I mean, like lucky. all like a saucepan. Mm -hmm. or why? You know, it is very odd. It is. Maybe they just never got really thrown away, they just sort of got lost. But then you think they got lost, <laughs> they'd end up... I don't know, yeah, it's odd. Mm. We don't really find that many... These, people. I imagine, there's probably like floorboards in people's houses yeah. with tiny kittens in them. <laughs> oh, I think that was all the Taylor and Barrett, wasn't it? Yes, I think so. Oh bag. yeah, and then this was a little lot that I got. Um, oh no, Jesse, not the only Taylor and Barrett. <laughs> Last Taylor and Barrett thing which came with a lot is the um, co uh, fireplace set side buddy set. Not unfortunately, not with the tools. But they would have it. had they would have had two either side fire yeah. dogs. Fire dogs? Are they called fire dogs? I yeah. did buy you one with a brush and the tongs, but unfortunately, the lady I bought it from couldn't find it, so I got didn't get that. And then it came with. That tiny little pewter plate that's identical to one that's in the 1920s doll's house. Yeah, it's, it's there. We oh, used it in the Christmas house. We did use it in the Christmas room. So there you go. Got another one of these. And it also came with... What is this? A coffee pot? Coffee pot, maybe. Which I assume is the same age as 
it's all the same age, it must be 1920s. And then to go to match the, although this is for your doll's yeah. house, not the 1920s one. In the 1920s doll's house, we got a soda siphon, which is a little metal one with glass, coloured glass inside. And we got in that set, I got this tiny little cup. Um, the glass was missing, but this is it's like camera filter paper <laughs> <laughs> that I've cut and put in. And it works the same, it does the same job. But I know that Mum liked the soda siphon, so she's got her own little glass cup to put in her doll's house. And then the last thing, the which last was thing. Mum's big Christmas present from me. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Something that. So we have. You've had since well, since I was for as long as I can remember. You've had a half of a peg doll mm. on the mantelpiece. Which is beautiful, no arms or legs, just, no, just the body a, and the head. Because it was my, your nan's, my mother's, and oh. the dog chewed the bottom off. Oh, no. One of her dogs, one of her dogs chewed the bottom off. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, that's why I got it. <laughs> <laughs> its legs were chewed off. Is that, one of her dogs. Is that Norma? Norma? Y your, your nan's? No, my, my nan's. your nan's. Oh, oh no, 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 yeah, no, oh, okay. no, no, they what? didn't have dogs. Oh, yeah, but was did it come from. Or did Nanny just buy it? Uh, no, I think it came from the Dolls Hospital. Yeah. So, you have one that from... Have we ever mentioned that on this channel? No. No, I don't no. think we have. From a, we have a family legacy of doll... Just worked in a Dolls Hospital, um, basically. <laughs> so, my great... Mum's Nan, my great Nan, ran, uh, worked in and then ran a Dolls Hospital. I'm not sure she ran it, I think she worked in it, but then she, because they bought a chemist afterwards, and I think she ran the chemist. Oh. I don't think she ever ran the Dolls Hospital, I think she just worked there. She worked in a Dolls Hospital for a long time. Yeah. So maybe that's where it comes from. Anyway, <laughs> circling back round, long story short, there's a link down below for a film where we um, talk more about that whilst we make a doll. Um, yeah, pictures and everything. Yeah, pictures. Mm -hmm. I, um, Mum had a half a peg doll, so I... Decided to go and buy her. I tried to buy you a peg doll, and I was big, going to buy you a big. Peg doll. I was going to buy you a big one. It was about the same price, but then I saw this one, and there weren't. There were lots of big peg dolls, but this is the only one of this I could see. So I couldn't not because. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> look at the sight. Look at this peg doll. So yeah, how old is this? Well, it's pre. Um... Well, it would have been, it's like pre the Victorian ones. Mm -hmm. It's possibly Georgian, because they were made, they were made everyday dolls for less rich children of those times, whereas the ones that we find, like limbs, like, well, where's the doll? Get the dolls, were rebuilt doll. Dolls like this used to be for the less rich people in the Victorian times, so this is probably pre Victorian. Mm hmm. Uh, but but um, richer girls would have had china body dolls, china headed mm -hmm. dolls when they were making wooden ones. Oh, well. okay. But Complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Here she is with her beautiful painted face. It's, it's, they're called a Grocken, Grocken doll, Grocken doll, doll, German. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've only ever seen it written down. Yeah. Gorka's chalk? Is it chalk on the end? You think you've got chalk? Gorka's chalk. Oh no, that's a doll's that's, house. That, that, that's, that's a doll's house. That's their doll's house. Gorka's doll. I should look at it. I'll write it down. <laughs> write it down on the screen. Oh so, yeah, there she is. Obviously she's not wearing any clothes, but... I might make her some clothes. Mm -hmm. Because they would have had clothes. Yeah. I mean, they would have been very primitive clothes, but that's mm -hmm. okay, because... <laughs> You can do that. Yeah, I can do primitive dolls' clothes. <laughs> so yeah, that was Mum's big present. And yeah, she looks very adorable. nice sitting on a chair. She does. Oh, her arms are too long. Look how cute that looks. <sighs> wow. Yeah. So there she is, and we do have plans. To make some pig dolls. We do. You so found, I've found big two things wooden now. Wooden doorknob, didn't you? I think I found two wooden doorknobs mm. that have longer bits that mm -hmm. just look perfect for the knob of the head and then the body. 
and then you can see how simple it is to make the the limbs. We should do that really because I don't think that would be that hard. I mean, it'd be a little bit hard. Yeah, and the face would be easier be than the big simple, one we've got to make. Pretty simple to paint, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah, I'm really excited. I want to make two. I want to make peg dolls and the beautiful clothes. Mm. Big peg dolls. So now. Um, now I'm going to stick my big hands in my doll's house yep. and probably get a little bit stressed out when everything gets knocked over <laughs> yep. and completely rearrange my doll's house. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Let's go. Someone pointed out last time I showed my doll's house because I said the wallpaper looked very much like William Morris, but it is actually William Morris it wallpaper. Is. I can't remember Which what. Which helps date the doll's house, doesn't it? Yeah, so yeah, it is the 1900s, I was correct. It is arts and crafts. So, yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> There's a clock that we got in a lot. Did we ever show that lot? No, we haven't shown it yet. Oh. <laughs> well, this is the clock outfit. This lot? Did you show this lot? Nope. No. Oh. <laughs> got a lot of unboxings to show. Yeah. Why don't you stay? I think they're not common, but. You know, it's a version of a fireplace you see quite a lot. I just need to oh, research and see what would have been inside. Because it looks a bit empty. <laughs> looks lovely though. And the sofa. No, I put the sofa at an angle? Or do I put it against the wall? If that angle, you hide the beautiful fireplace, but if you put it up there, you don't really see it. <laughs> Maybe it's sort of... That works. Cutting out quite a lot of the room at the back there. Yeah, I know. Need a big plant. Yeah. It's difficult, isn't it? Hmm. It's almost like to be on that side, yeah. Yeah, but then I need to move that over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fit either side of the bed, doesn't oh, What was the picture there, though? There! It was a cat's tail you've trapped. <laughs> Mine has now decided to take everything <laughs> out. <laughs> and he's complete rearranging. Fit. Nearly fit. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Everything is fallen off. Maybe it's just a bit too close, though. A bit too close, isn't it? Okay. Start again. <laughs> if the sofa works before I put everything back on it. No, it just hides it. <laughs> This looks a bit too modern now, hmm. doesn't it? This looks a bit like forties or something. Oh, but I may have to replace that, and it's also broken at the bottom. <laughs> I love these flowers. That's a 
new addition. There's a beautiful tray. I don't know what to do with it now, though. These two dolls are new too. The lady, look at her dress. It's so beautiful. Her dress yeah. is stunning. This is like the mohair. I mean, I've got paint all over my hands, so I've been Oscar, <laughs> decorating Oscar's room, but that's the kind of hair I was talking about. Mm -hmm. And then, oh no, no, man, have a man. Mm -hmm. Actually, the doll's house finally has a man. They have, they have a father. And you can see it's like the legs that we find, and it's basically just a lady's head, but. With the moustache. <laughs> I see. And again with a little velvet, blue velvet suit. It's absolutely amazing. They you came can see the where couple. you can make. You can see where they made it, can't you? In mm -hmm. stitches. And a new couple with their fancy velvet clothes. <laughs> In the living room. Now they've got proper sofa. Mm -hmm. He was sitting on a chair reading a newspaper though before. But a, a tattler like that came out of a one of the lots, didn't it? She's too flamboyant for this room now. <laughs> she might be too flamboyant for this room. <laughs> but the thing, these were bought in a set of four, really, really cheaply. There's these. There's, I don't know if they should go in the 1920s. In Charleston House. Yeah. Maybe they should. Because they are quite crazy. <laughs> Those are crazy. <laughs> I love them though. I mean, they're old. Mm hmm. But they've got red bodies. I think somebody maybe made them no bodies. I don't know. Or maybe I mean that one looks. Mm. It does look like someone made their bodies again, mm. doesn't it? And their so crazy maybe clothes. In the 1920s. Yeah. Look at this little one. Look at that face. <laughs> yeah, maybe they should. I mean, he's jazzy, isn't he? Mhm. Mm <laughs> but they were very, very cheap. So yes, well maybe I'll put those in the 1920s dolls house. Charleston house. Make a bigger table. <laughs> no, it's newspaper. No, it's newspaper. We have to put that there. That bit there. Put the book on it. This time, don't tip it up. It needs other things on there, but. Oh, the grocken. I thought she was going in a bed. Is she going in a bed? That's what you said when you opened her. Did I? Mm, yeah. I don't want to hide her beautiful body. Mm -hmm. Probably she's so much older than all the I other know. dolls. She's so much older. Maybe she should be in the bed. She looks good there. Then this one can share the bed with him. <gasps> no arms or legs. <laughs> Don't expose. It's like the one we found the other day. Yeah. Yeah, oh, she found one, didn't we? We found one very, much, very similar to that in our last mudlarking film over on our other channel. We should probably put this one together too, but we didn't. We haven't got legs for the other one, have we? So. Yeah. Twins. The limbless twins. <laughs> but they won't be cold. No. Uh oh. <laughs> no, it's just a little hello. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Can't see the other one, but never mind. Okay. Uh, 
I've been very frustrating. I just told mum that when I bought these, <laughs> in my head I'd sort of, because I was worried they were going to be too big. But there's a lot more space in the upstairs bedroom than the lounge, so I thought that that big one would go in the upstairs bedroom, and the smaller one would go in the lounge. And I forgot to tell that to mum until she'd already almost finished the room. And I just think it would look good with the big bed and the bath. With the bed they haven't seen in there. Yes, the new amazing bed. Why is everything leaning forward? Yeah, this is the new bed. Again, it's a certain type, but I can't remember the name. It's absolutely amazing. It was cheaper. Mm -hmm. because someone had half painted it. <laughs> <laughs> I still love it though, I love that. Absolutely amazing bed with the wiring on the side, the mesh. That I mean it's fun. enormous. It is enormous. Well, <laughs> well the last one was really small mm -hmm. so I'm sort of compensating. <laughs> and this little washstand is new as well, it's got little metal New washstand and the carpet. This carpet under here. Almost feels like the washstand that was in the <laughs> nursery should now be in that room. The metal filigree one. Uh, I swapped them around. I thought that one looked better. We'll do that another day. Okay. I can't. There's enough. To, I can't completely, <laughs> mm -hmm. totally reinvent everything. Let's um, see what the other fireplace looks like in the living room. Now you can probably not have the things diagonally, True. possibly. <laughs> I've completely redone it. <laughs> I just moved everything around again. I'm still not sure. I think the cupboard in the corner is too modern now. Um, oh, and something's falling off of it. I like the books, but I think the cupboard itself is a bit too modern. It's the wrong era. It looks 1940s or 30s, and this is 1900s, so that might have to come out and replace it. But it's getting there. Nice. Oh, the things have fallen over in the cupboard, too. I'll have to pick those up. <laughs> Next room. <laughs> yeah. Now is the bedroom done. The new fireplace. I like the bedroom a lot. Mm. I think it's because of the carpet. I think I need them. In mm -hmm. those two rooms too. Uh, that's my doll's house fiddled around with again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's some of you might notice there's a few new things, like a, there's a new wardrobe and a new chest of drawers and a new washstand in the bedroom. Still not completely happy with it, but that's sort of the point, isn't it? Otherwise mm -hmm. it would be boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to be completely happy with it, so I'll just keep fiddling. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed some crafting soon. We've got one big film we're quite excited about. Well, we've got a couple of big films actually, so one of those might be coming up soon. Um, next week might be more Doll's House though, because we. We did literally 12 craft crafts films in a row. Yeah, we've so we've got to do some to Charleston House. Yeah, we've got to put the kitchen in. Things. Yeah, which we're very excited about. Yes. So thank you everyone, as always, for every like and comment. Everyone that has subscribed. We hit 12,000. So we just have to say a massive thank you. And we will see you. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.